we were just walking down to the village and we just uh look at this we've just seen people buffer feeding there they're putting silage out i thought we could smell silage over the fence look someone's putting piles of silage in the field there another pile there and the Okay. Cattle are having it because there's nothing else in the field to eat. I think they're sucklers, look, because yeah. you can see the udder on them, can't you? The little calf there. And there's the calf there. If they're beef, it's not so bad, but if you're producing milk for something, you need a bit more than just dry grass. But anyway, nice cattle. Looking good. At least they're getting some silage. Look at me, buy the spoonful. Buy it, I probably won't go in it. Uh, I'm on holiday, how about that? We are in Devon, in uh, Otterton. We've got a little cottage, we're staying on an annex next to this beautiful little thatched cottage behind me. Um, it comes with a spoonful, so kids are gonna be splashing around with that. We're right by the coast. And if I pan around look, which you can just see, the sea is over there and uh, Best bit of all, there's a combine up in the field. Look at that combine. There he is. He was out yesterday combining that. Anyway, we're so basically put this ages ago, and timing wise is perfect because it gives me a bit of a downtime. Because the problem is with being on the farm is that generally, even though I'm supposed to be taking it easy. Yeah, I'm just walking back and we're going to the shop. I'll tell you what, what we're doing in a minute. Um, yeah, staying on the farm, the problem is, is the temptation is to go out and do stuff. Whereas here, I'm just taking it a day at a time. I've got a few plans. Um, for me and Jack, where's he going? Jack! Me and Jack are going off down to the shop. But if, yeah, so anyway. I will tell you about the plan because this was arranged quite some time ago. <clears throat> um, in the uh, all right, Jack. All right. You ready? Yeah. It's nine o'clock in the morning. It's already absolutely boiling. Um, so we're walking down to the village of Otterton, and they have a thing there called a milk station, which uh, we can get a bottle of milk from from the local farmer. So all right. All right. So we're going to actually get a bottle of milk from the milk station but I've also arranged uh, later in the day to meet up with um, the farmer who or someone who works on the farm um, where this milk comes from we're actually going to go and see the cows and just chat to them about this milk station and uh, it's a chap called Greg now the interesting thing about Greg is that I met him probably eight or nine years ago on a farmer protest protesting against the atrocious milk price and he was one of a group of farmers that drove all the way up from I think Devon up to uh, Avonmouth to protest outside of Tesco's so uh, the connection's there in fact um, before we get to the milk station I'll just show you a little clip of us at this protest here you go here we are we're down at the Tesco's distribution warehouse and like I said the blockade has started look at this we've got tractors down here Fair play, I'm really proud of this. Got tractors all blockading the, the entrance. There's no way anything's going to get in and out of this distribution place tonight. And there's the police up there. Uh, a couple of riot vans, I think. And he's just explaining what's going on. So uh, we'll have a little look at what's going on afterwards. But um, this is a peaceful protest at the milk price. Look. Trust the tractor. We need to get the message out there that British farming needs to be supported. Otherwise, there'll be no one left producing British uh, produce because all this foreign cheap stuff is going to come in and wipe us out. And uh, if you're watching this video and you're from the UK, please um, buy British. <laughs> Utter madness. Milk the cow, he's not the farmer. Well said, mate. Or back up turning. There's a whole load of people turning up. <laughs> Um, so you know what's happening tonight, we've got Tesco shut here, we've got Tesco shut in Widnes and we've got Farm Food shut in that lovely building over there on the skyline. Um, 
first of all, a very, very big thank you to everybody, um, especially the young generation, for all what you've been doing. Keep going, keep it up, because the battle is not won by a long way. What we saw last week was the start of some success, not good enough by a long way. The negotiations with ASDA and Arla are continuing. We've secured the milk, the liquid. We've now got to secure milk for cheese. All right, it's uh, getting on for 11 o'clock at night, I think, and we, Dave's just spoken to the people at Tesco, so we'll see what he's got to say. Not worried when he said bend over the table. We did come under. Yeah. Gather, we've been inside, we got asked to go in. Um, we've just been talking to a board director. Um, we've explained loud and clear to him um, your frustrations um, and the anger that's brought us all here tonight. Um, we've explained the issues that surround the problem. Um, we accept that they are paying a cost of production on liquid, um, but it's all this imported product um, that is devaluing everything else, um, their points of sale, etc. etc. Um, they've accepted that and they have offered a meeting um, with myself on Wednesday um, at their head office with um, the category director for fresh food board director and the board director responsible for all fresh food with Tesco. Um, that meeting will take place at five o'clock. If all of you are satisfied with that, um, I've agreed that we'll go. Uh, just a very, very big thank you for coming here, showing the effort and like I say, keep doing what you're doing and you know, if we all work together, we'll break this one. If we flint, you know, go apart, well, you know what'll happen because that's the problem with our industry. We need to come together. So, great job, everybody. And let's go right to right. the So, I'm, it's the end of the night, and I'm here with Chunk, who's, uh, who's been on the protest. What do you think about tonight, then, mate? Well, we've had a good result at the end of the day. He went in, had a meeting, had a chat. Got to have a meeting on Wednesday, so from our point of view, and from your point of view, you're just down to earth guy like the rest of us here. Yeah, it's it's good feeling, isn't it? You've achieved something without any kind yeah. of aggro. No, that's right. Peaceful protest. Everything's gone all right. There's no hassle. No one's been arrested or no anything. <laughs> so yeah, no, it's all gone well. Fantastic. So yeah, no, from that point of view, it's gone yeah brilliantly. Yeah, it's just a job. Well done, mate. Thanks a lot. Lovely job. Cheers. <laughs> So there we go, that was, that was Farmers for Action. I'm just gonna walk off the road, we'll walk down the side here. Farmers for Action meeting up at Avermouth and I was part of the protest, we did that overnight, uh, trying to get some uh, Tesco's to basically uh, stop importing, I think, foreign cheese and also to basically put the milk price up. Um, and hey ho, we milk prices up at the moment, but it's, it's taken a pandemic and, and a, um, Ukrainian crisis to get that milk price up took a lot of persuading and now it can be done anyway um, so that was where I met Greg and anyway, we're off down to we're gonna carry on walking down through the village um, and then we'll be at the milk station at some point here we are we are in the middle of Otterton now Look at these lovely thatched cottages beautiful we don't get any of these in Gloucestershire so we're going this little sculpture there that Look at that, what's that? That's clever, isn't it? Stainless steel. Wow. Right, what are we gonna do? We're gonna go to the community shop. Um, I've forgotten my toothbrush. Mrs. C won't like that. There's a, a book exchange in the phone box here. A bit like Tiverington. We're gonna get a um, toothbrush. Uh, I need a newspaper for me. Sitting around on my deck chair later. Then we're going to go to the milk station. We'll show you how we get the milk out of the milk station. I'm not even sure. I've never used one before. Uh, and I'm going to buy a bit of milk. And then tomorrow we're meeting Greg at the milk station. And we will be heading off to the farm to see the cows. And I'll hopefully have a chat with him about how it all works. I mean, what a good location to have a milk station in a busy village, in a tourist location. 
you know, I'm going out my way to buy it from there. So while I'm on holiday, I always like to put some money into the local economy. Um, but how wonderful is it we can meet up with Greg and uh, actually chat to the person who's involved with it? Dry this is. So this is this is where the stream would come through. There's a little bit of water there. There should be a lovely stream going through here, and it's dried right out with the drought. And there's no sign of any water at the moment. Although by the time you see this video, it might have rained enough to fill that, I don't know. 1627 it says up on there, look. Look at that. It's not as old as our house though. Beautiful thatched cottage though, isn't it lovely? There's the pub we were at last night for tea. I'm drinking lemonade and we're off to the shop. Right, well we went into a charming village shop there. Really lovely, helpful people. Community okay. shop, a bit like Titherington, so it does make a difference. Um, we are down now by the mill. There's there's some water, actual running water. And there's Otterton Mill. There we are. So let's get down there and see if we can... I think the milk station's just around the corner. Or is it in here? No, I think it might be round here. This looks like it. Here we go, on a busy main road, and there's a car park next to it. Look at this. Wow. Oh, there's milkshake. So you can have a milkshake. And place screen bottles here. The question is, where do we get a bottle from? Yeah. Is there bottles in there? Yeah. All oh, right, okay. Well, you've got to put two pound fifty. Okay, so we get a bottle. How much is the milk? Only one litre at a time. Does it say how much a litre is? A pound? A pound a litre. Okay. Right, so let's get a bottle. So, Funky Farmer on holiday is buying milk. A bizarre thing, I normally go out and dip the tank and go and get milk for free. Um, and we are actually on holiday. I don't begrudge this a second because fair play to right. Insert card and press start. Okay, where do we insert card? This is. Through here? Does it go in there? That might be the wrong way around. Right. This right. transaction, I'm gonna. Do, I'm not gonna film this bit because obviously this might be the bit where uh, you might see my bank card. Hang on. So uh, we'll just do this and then we'll get going. Right, we've got that. We've we've got our vending. That's a litre of milk, Jack. Right. We're we'll gonna place clean bottle in there. There we go. Hit the lid off. I think, yeah, hang on. Insert card. Right, one litre. Let's give me the temperature. Please remove card. Okay, how did, press start. Hey, what's press going on? Hang on, press this machine. How do we press start? Hey, my card, press start on the X. Where's the start? Start. Oh, there, right. Hang on, let me get it actually lined up. Select product by pressing on the machine. Select product. Oh. You have not been charged. Right, let's try that again. Please choose the desired product. How do you select product? That might be it. Oh no, cancel it. Thank you. Oh, come on. Select product. Perhaps you push it up. We're not doing very well here, are we? Are we thick? Probably. We're not getting on here. What? Select product. How do we do it? Select product by, by pressing start on machine, what? Is this transaction cancelled? Oh, well, we'll get back to you in a minute on this when Funky Farmer has worked out what to do. Oh, right. it's here. Ah, uh, oh, what a complete donkey. There you are. Credit five. I think I've charged five quid. What? Keep going. Put it in. Someone's going to get some free milk then. I think I've paid five quid for that litre. Is he even going to stop, stop at a litre? Stop for change. You have Keep to going. Stop, Dad. Keep going. You have to stop when it gets to too much. Fill in stop. Hang on. You just let the froth go and then top it back up. 
Right, go on, get back in. Right, filling finished, there you go. One litre insert money, I think we've done it. Yeah, we go. There we done, we're done. There we go, look, here we are, fresh organic whole milk. Right, that's, that's the funky farmer faffing. It was actually fairly straightforward. We just didn't really realize what we were doing. You all right? Yeah. That's fine. Um, so we've got ourselves a liter of milk. So really, if you read the instructions, it helps. So what, what we have to do is buy a bottle here from the vending machine, put it in there, uh, pull that forward. And then we put it in here. Is that on tight or not? Yeah, that's on. Shut the door. And we're done. 2.7 degrees it is. It's chilled. But that's going to get all mucky in my bag, isn't it? I didn't bring a I'll basket. I'll carry it. Are you going to carry it? Do you want me to take the rucksack? It's fine, Okay. Right, we're heading back now with this fresh milk. Tune in tomorrow. <laughs>